Hey YouTube, how you doing? Thanks for joining me again. My name's Keno and we are back here in Calapolis. But for today, it's slightly different as I'm going to do a quick tutorial on a flower farm. We are going to look around my new flower shop, which I've just designed and built over there. Which I did post some pictures on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, do do that as soon as you can. That'd be much appreciated. Um, but now I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the flower shop and the flower factory. And then a quick tutorial on how it works. Flowers are amazing for dye and decoration. So everybody needs a flower farm, in my opinion. So we're over at the main base. That's the main base over there. Um, that is the sorting office through there that we've already looked around. And this is my bee farm, honey farm, if you like. Bee farm, honey farm, same difference. Anyway, so just over this bridge, which we did build the other day, um, we, I have now got the flower shop. So we're going to run over to the flower shop. So I built this bridge the other day and I built this sort of small train track, which I quite like. Uh, coming off onto this tough path. And over here, we have got the flower shop. Now, this is the entrance to the shop. As you can see, we've got the flowers there, the outside flowers, all the tulips, and then we've got all the taller flowers that don't fit into the flower shop. And I went with these azalea bushes, if you like. You can go taller with these, which I think I've done at the back. Uh, but I thought this was low enough just so that you can see the flowers. The rear entrance here does lead to sort of the housing part, and that's just a small garden. I'll show you that in a moment. But if we go around the front here, this is the entrance to the shop. A little sign. Uh, we go through into the shop, and this is the flower shop. All the flowers are displayed. Uh, the little sort of glow uh, berries up there are giving us some lighting. All the different flowers are in their pots and pitch frames. I suppose this would be sort of the main counter, if you like. Uh, I thought it looked pretty good. So that's that's my flower shop, if you like. We go through the flower shop and we come into the living area. This living area here, we've got a small kitchen just on the back there, which is just a little compact design. Uh, and then we've got the dining room table, a small sofa, uh, and then upstairs this heads on to just a, a bedroom area sort of storage area with a, with a nice little bed uh, and a mezzanine which i'm obsessed with which overlooks the flower shop and everything like that which i thought looked pretty good so it's small and cozy just for kind of the dweller of the flower shop if you like uh, at the back here we have got a decking area a little rope swing a little fire pit barbecue um, some more storage a little water, water butt, if you like, uh, leading down to a fishing dock, a boating dock, which has been taken over by this mob. But I thought that was pretty cool. All in all, you know, there's another little entrance. You, you can actually go away. No one you there. Uh, <laughs> this is pretty cool. A little garden area with the pumpkins and, and melons and things like that. Uh, going back up into here, that's the main sort of fishing dock entrance, if you like. And out the front here, this is the front entrance, little pond, a uh, small little garden area. It would be nice to have a sort of mixture of flowers and maybe some storage as well as if somebody is growing these wild little pathway. And that's the entrance there with a, a larger tree, should we say, that I sort of put together when I'm playing around with my custom trees, which I will show you a tutorial of at a later date. So I'll show you the flower factory downstairs, excuse me. Um, I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you to everybody. I've got 150 subscribers now, which I'm over the moon about um, in, in a month, which is absolutely brilliant. But uh, if you're not subscribed and you are watching this video, please do hit a like, share, subscribe now. It is very, very much appreciated. Um, put a lot of time into this. I, I love my Minecraft and I felt like now is the time I want to show everyone. But uh, if you do hit that subscribe button, it would be appreciated. Anyway. With much ado, we're going to head downstairs into the basement, and this is our flower farm area. Now, I love RTX, and I play Kelly's RTX, and I think it looks sensational. The lighting looks really good, the glass is all connected, it looks much better. However, for this little area here, I can't actually show you what I want to show you. So, if you bear with me one moment, I'm going to turn off the RTX now. So this is this area with the RTX turned off, and it's a lot lighter. The RTX gives a lot more shadowing, uh, it's what's called ray tracing, 
makes it look more realistic but just for the purpose of this it does make it easier to go into vanilla Minecraft. now this is my flower farm and it is really really simple design and i'm going to show you this design in just a moment but basically you can put any flower you want into the bottom here so for the purpose of this we've got the pink ones there let's get myself another flower um i quite like uh, there we go an orange tulip for this let's just put that there we'll put that there for now if we go down here what we can do is we can plant the orange tulip into there and then let's have a look see what we've got we've got nothing in that top chest at all so nothing in that bottom chest and then here we've got one lot of 64 orange tulips and then we've got seven orange tulips and if i just show you by turning this on that sets it off. And you can see on the outside here, that the orange tulips are growing automatically. And that's down to the bone mill. And then every time the bone mill alternates with the water, the water obviously makes the tulips uh, die. And then they get collected underneath and it shoots all the way around to the up. And as you can see here, the orange tulips are filling up. And you don't even need it on that long. If I turn this off now, and make sure the water's clear. And you look at this and this will still continue to fill up because it's working its way around the water system and there'll probably be three stacks there by the time it's finished and you can put any type of flower you like in there from here also we can get up here and this is where we keep the bone mill so at the moment i'm probably quite low on bone mill i've still got a whole lot there and then there's probably some in the hopper i could do with filling up bone mill on the top there and that noise you can hear is the tulips still working their way around as you can see, there are plenty. There's going to be lots and lots of orange shooters. And that's as simple as that. It's a single block system, um, so you can't do the double height roses. And uh, yeah, it's really, really, really efficient. And it's really simple. And I will show you how to make it right now. So over in our design world, first of all, we're going to place a barrel or a chest. And this is where the flowers are going to end up. You then want to put a run of hoppers going into this chest. Now we need seven long for our flower farm and you're probably going to need a couple more just to make the chest accessible later on. So once you do check that they're all pointing into each other, you just want to sort of box this off at the end here. We are going to sort of cover this over in a moment, but for now well, I'm just using these temporary blocks. You can make it look as pretty as you want. But once you put these blocks in, you're then going to box off these seven that you're going to use for your flower farm. Then you want to make this short sort of staircase for now, which is only one block high. And this is so that we can get our mine, hopper mine carts into the section. And we do this by placing these small ramps uh, one block apart so that the tracks don't meet each other. And you place a hopper mine cart on the top and just push it in. If I'm doing this, they go into every single block. And once we block it over after we're done, we actually can cover these completely. So once you've done these four, you don't do the ones in the middle. Make sure you get rid of the track first, otherwise it starts looping around and joining each other. And just give them a little nudge in. Once that's done, you then place blocks just on the outside to stop these from coming back out. And you go all the way along, and you can see here that two of them can't have the block, which means they haven't been pushed in far enough. What you do is just drop down, give it a little nudge, and then block it in that way. And same with this one. Once that's blocked in, they can't come out, and we can use them for this farm. Get rid of the blocks on the outside, the temporary blocks, and just do the same on the other side. And we're going to whiz through this. I've sped this up. You're just going to push your minecarts in once again on there. This time when we do the blocks, only one of them is needing a little nudge. There you go like that, and then we just clear these blocks on the outside. As I say, you can put this into the floor if you want, or you can make this as pretty as you like, but we're just using these blocks for now. Once you've done that here, you're then going to place seven grass blocks over the top. You will need silk touch of doing this in survival because the flowers will only spawn on grass blocks. Then find your centre block in the middle here and just place that as grass. And that's where we're going to have the main flower that we need. More temporary blocks now. It's going over the top here, two blocks over the top of the grass. And the reason it's two blocks is because we're going to place the droppers or dispensers underneath 
the rocks here pointing downwards and this just makes it easier to place we're also going to do the same above the main flower here in the section just again you want to give it sort of two blocks for now then we're going to cover the whole outside with solid blocks this is to stop the water escaping later now i've used glass and i tend to use glass and all of mine so that i can see what's going on but you can use whatever blocks you want as long as they stop the water from going through once you've done that we're going to point upwards and place the droppers make sure they're pointing down this is very very important they have to be pointing down and that's so that the water can go onto the flowers and knock them off so that it can be collected by the hoppers do the same with the block in the middle here with another dropper and that's all your droppers done once you've done that you want to fill in the middle section here with the glass as well and just clear these temporary blocks off of the top here this is so that we can run our redstone once you've done that fill this section in with glass and this block behind the dropper immediately behind has to be another solid block that can conduct redstone so i've just put a smooth stone on there for now now you also want to clear this block here at the front this is so that we can access the flower panel there so we can change the flower you don't want to go a block further forward because that's where the hoppers are and you'll start pushing them around but that block just at the front on the top here we're going to have a hopper with a chest and that's for our bone mill to go in and that's where we're going to store the bone mill that runs this farm and this is kind of how it should look for now then you want to run your redstone and we're just going to run a simple line of redstone over the top of each of these droppers then one over the middle here and this is why it has to be a solid block because that will power the dispenser that is using the bone mill and from there we're going to place a tiny little block just going across here so that we can do a staircase going down to wherever we want to go wherever you want your switch you can even just put the switch um, around the back here somewhere but we do need to make a quick clock so that we can get this ticking so that it flicks on and off and you do that by running the redstone down onto a section where you've got a small bit of space. So here I'm just going to come down the stairs. We're going to run it over here. Repeater, which I'll come back to in a moment. So remember this repeater. And then we're going to put a comparator and a small clock there like that. Then we run the rest of the redstone going into a switch wherever you would like. Before we do anything else, we're going to fill up each of these dispensers with water. It has to be a water bucket can't be a water bottle um, but what this means is when the dispenser is powered this will then squirt water onto the grass blocks knocking the flowers out and ready to be picked up by the hopper minecart once you're happy that that's all there we need to get rid of this repeater because being that close to the clock it will stop it working so now when we turn it on it clicks and you can see the water flicking on and off when we turn it off make sure the water's clear and it's not if it's not you just need to flick it a few more times until the water's gone and as you can see that now there is all set up now from here we can access this center panel to change the flower but we also need to be able to access the barrel at the top for the redstone so we do that by putting a step or a slab in this block here and then we can just build some sort of staircase going up to it from the top of that step or slab you can then reach the barrel and fill up the bone mill and to use the farm you just place any flower you want in there underneath the bone mill and that's the bone mill that you can access here so we'll pop that there it has to be a step or a slab otherwise you won't be able to reach it and now when we turn it on the bone mill will dispense making the flowers grow on the seven blocks around the either side these have to be grass blocks now where the water was left on earlier you can see that this has actually turned it into dirt so we do need to change these back to grass so that the flowers can spawn uh, even more of them can spawn the more grass blocks the more that it will spawn and these have to be seven long any more than that and it won't spawn in that area and now that that's set up you can see there all we need to do is just to turn it on and see if it runs now the barrel around the back here let's just empty that out for the purpose of this so you can see that we've got this set up now for the corn flour and as you can see when we turn it on it alternates between the flour growing and the water we turn it off the bone mill has made the flowers grow at the edge then the water 
knocks the flowers into the hopper my carts. You can see there that this already started filling up. Let's try another flower just to show you for the purpose of this. We're going to use a red poppy. Knock out the blue flower there, place the red flower into here, and again turn it on. Leave it for a few seconds and it alternates and we get the red flowers in the water. When we turn it off, we make sure the water's gone. And we check the barrel and here comes our red tulips ready to make some dye. And that is as simple as that. And this is just how it sort of looks from the overtop. And that is that guys, it's as simple as that. So we're back in here in ray tracing. As you can see now, it does still look fantastic. You've got the shadowing because I've got no light inside there. But now you know how it works. You can see just how simple this system is. I can't see anything with the ray tracing on, but we know it works. And obviously I've set my switch up a little bit further around, uh, just using a redstone run. Plus I've used water flows to get mine to go where exactly where I need it. As I say, I think this is all done now and we've ended up with over five stacks. Oh, six stacks, sorry. Just under six stacks of orange tulips, just for that short amount of time. I do plan on sprucing this up a little bit and making it a little bit nicer. However, it seems to be working, so I'm not that fussed about it at the moment. So as we leave the flower shop, you can see that although it's got this great exterior up here and it's kind of useless because no one really does have any money, underneath it does have practical purpose and that's how i like to build in minecraft so guys thank you very much for joining me if you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something please do subscribe hit that like share follow button and the bell notification so you can hear whenever we go live but guys thank you very much for joining me build like no one's watching and i'll catch up with you soon